Hey guys, what is up? Misty here with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the mouse toggle working on the new Fire TV Stick 4K. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so if any of you have recently tried to install the new version 1.11 on the new Fire TV Stick 4K, you'll notice that when you actually try to use it, it actually won't work. It'll just be, it'll stay stuck on starting. When you actually press the double tap, you won't actually see the, see the virtual mouse. There is a way to actually fix this and today I'm going to show you how. Basically, uninstall any version of mouse toggle you currently have. Once you've uninstalled it, you need to make sure you need to install file length. Now, how do you get file length? It's actually real simple. Just go to the downloader app, just search, search for it in the Amazon store, search for downloader. Once you open it up, you're going to be have to be able to put in a link. So put in the link which is going to be get.droidadmin.com. Once you have put in the uh, link, just go ahead and hit go. And then it's going to go ahead and start downloading file link directly to your Fire TV stick. And of course you click on install. Once you click the install, you'll be able to actually go ahead and actually open up the app. Let's go ahead and open it up. Once you've opened it up, you want to use the following code, which is going to be 23119623. Click on continue. Uh, don't forget, guys, if you ever uh, need a discount on a VPN, there's currently 72% off, which I will leave a link down in the description below. Always need to protect yourself on streaming because VPN is always the best way to go. So it, your ISP does not see anything, and you don't get those weird letters from your ISP saying, "Oh, you've did this, done this, you've streamed this without without uh, legal rights." So VPN is always the best way to go. So once you're actually in here, you want to scroll all the way down until you get to the letter M's. Uh, where it is? Here it is. Mouse toggle. So. In order to work it on the Fire TV Stick 4K, you will need to use 1.06. Uh, I want to thank Tech Doctor UK for uh, showing me this uh, solution. If you guys ever want to subscribe to a cool YouTuber that does similar videos like me, uh, make sure to sub to his channel. I will leave his channel link down in the description below. Thanks Tech, Do Tech Doctor UK for finding this fix. So, go ahead and click on download on mouse toggle uh, TV for Fire TV 1.06. Click on play, then you click on install, and then you are good to go. Once installed, uh, exit the code, and then go to the top right, click on the little delete icon to save space. And then once you've actually uh, installed it, um, it'll basically appear all the way at the end. So if you go all the way here at the end to uh, more, you're going to scroll down, it's going to be down here. So what you would do is you would press and hold this up and bring it all the way up. But I've already done that here, here it is, mouse toggle, open it up. And guys, once you open it up, you won't be able to actually turn these on unless you have ADB debugging turned on. So to do that, go on the top here, go to settings. Then you want to go into the uh, My Fire TV, developer options, and make sure these two are turned on. If they're not turned on, you won't be able to actually use mouse toggle. So let's go back to the mouse toggle. Even though it says starting here at the bottom, right now at this point, what I want you to do is double tap the play pause button and you will get your virtual mouse here. Okay, now let's say um, you have 1.06 on a fire, 4K Fire TV stick and you still can't see the mouse toggle. So, how do you fix? How do you fix it? Um, what you want to do is shut off the, this one here, then shut this one off as well. It's going to say stopping. And then click on ADB settings. So, I'm going to go down here, click ADB settings one more time. Once you click on, click on it once, you notice how that little, like, watch, watch the ADB settings button. I'm going to click on it. See how it kind of little flashed there for a second? That means you actually pressed it. Once you've pressed it, go up to the top, turn this one on, wait about five seconds, then turn this one on again. Second one. Once they're both on and then it's labeled as starting, that's usually when it starts working. So I'm going to go ahead here and double tap the play pause and see how it's back. So basically, that's a really good way to troubleshoot. If it's still not working, you actually have to go all the way back up here into the settings and actually go into my fire tv and you need to turn this off and on and then you would go back into mouse toggle so you can actually um you know even though it says it's starting i would ignore it it means if you can double tap the play pause and it works that's good to go and 
So what's the point of mouse toggle? Well, a lot of apps like third party apps, like for example, I don't have one right now because all these are kind of, like for example, speed test, right? If I wanted to run a speed test, I can't actually click on the speed test button. I would need to double tap and then I can actually use the bottom uh, thing here because this app is not really meant for, um, you know, um, devices like Fire TV sticks. You actually need a uh, mouse toggle. So if I press home here again, like for example, let's go to an app like HD Movies. Again, HD Movies does not really require mouse toggle, but let's say for example, this was an app like, I don't know, uh, Showbox. Double tap and you have your little mouse toggle right here, right? And if you want to scroll down, just press the fast forward button. You'll be able to scroll down here. So pretty, pretty cool, pretty, pretty easy, okay? So that is basically it, guys. That's how you, how you install mouse toggle on the new Fire TV Stick 4K. If you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, let me know down in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.